um, Ford and Ram still use solid front axles. And so this turns uh, quite a bit better and it feels quite a bit smoother from a ride quality perspective. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a 2023 GMC 3500 Denali Ultimate. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. This one is available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, reach out to them. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a 6.6 liter V8 diesel known as the Duramax paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission known as the Allison. Power outputs, 445 horsepower, 910 pound feet of torque. What more could you ask for? Let's go over the front end of the Denali. So first off, you can see with the cab lights there at the top, and I've always been a huge fan of the cab lights for the GMC trucks because they just look really good. Now notice we've got our vent piece here in the center, and then we've got a bunch of chrome trim here for the massive front grille. We've got our GMC logo there with a the camera at the bottom of the logo. And then we've got our full LED lights. So we've got the LED daytime lights with the LED headlamps. And then notice with the fog light down below, parking sensors integrated into the front end. Then we've got chrome tow hooks there on either side. And man, this thing is large and imposing. Coming around the side here, we've got a tire wheel setup of 275, 65, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then notice here with the wheel design, of course, silver and chrome because, well, Denali life. Now, you guys have noticed that this actually has some off-road shocks on this particular one. And we've got the all-terrain tires as well. We'll kind of go over why it has that in a little bit, but definitely a cool setup. And then notice here with the fender flare, it's absolutely massive. And then of course you got a flex, you got the Duramax diesel and the Allison transmission. And then we've got chrome here on the mirrors and then also Denali HD down below and then fixed side steps here. And then we also have the bed step there on the back. And I guess we can take a quick gander here at our diesel and DEF Phillip caps. And then look at the size of these leaf springs. And again, we got another off-road shock there in the back. And then, well, I gotta take like 50 steps to get all the way back. Boom, there's your full side view. So here's a key fob for the truck. We have our unlock function, our lock, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. Payload capacity is 3,740 pounds, and then conventional towing capacity is 20,000 pounds. Now notice we already have spray and bed liner. We also have this nice grab handle, which is part of the multi-pro tailgate setup. LED lights here, and we have a full power outlet. And then this one also has a fifth wheel prep already from the factory. We got the cargo camera and light there at the top. And, well, press that one button. It's the closest one to you, by the way. And then we pull this down. Weight limit, 375 pounds, but it lets you step up into the bed. And again, that's what that handle's for. Now closing, it's pretty easy. So all you have to do is just kind of crunch that part in and then just lift this up. It's like doing a bicep curl and then boom, you got the whole setup. Finishing things up with the rest of the rear, we've got our GMC logo Denali down below. C-shaped taillights here. This is says Sierra down below that. Parking sensors on the bottom. And then look at the massive exhaust tip. Of course, we got the bumper steps as well. It's kind of a GM truck thing. And that's all. Now here's the door panel in the rear. I really like the leather trim. It has that cowhide texture, which is pretty cool. And then notice with the stitching up above and then our wood trim down below. Here are the seats. Full leather seats again, has that cowhide texture on it. And we got the behind the seat storage and here's kind of like a better view of the seat itself. And then got under seat storage as well. Stepping up, we got the side step and then I'll grab handle. And then here is legroom. Headroom solid as well. We've got our storage pocket here. A couple of cup holders. We've got heated seats. We've got some USBs. We've got our 12 volt. And then, well, we've got our cup holder armrest, seat belts in the way. And even cowhide texture there. Pretty nice stuff. Anyways, let's head to the front. Now here is the front door panel. Again, we've got the soft touch at the top and then notice with the trailer tow mirrors, this does have, of course, the mirror extender where you can make the mirror pop out for towing use. It also does have power folding mirrors. Got the memory seats here and then here's all of the mirror controls in that 
area. That's the mirror extender. That's to fold in the mirrors. Our adjustments for, oh, well, open up the windows. Anyways, there's the rest of the door panel. I'm struggling here today, apparently. Speaker for the Bose sound system. And then Denali here in the headrest. And again, we got that cowhide texture, but it's perforated here in the center. And there's the adjustments on the side of the seat. Now it's GMC Denali. And then we've got our pedal layout. Parking brake right here, light control. That is for a fog light, cargo light. And then our drive line select, we have our auto two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. Trailer tow mode, and then our drive mode select there on the other side. And then we've got that for the heads up display. Let's pop in. Here's the steering wheel. We've got nice leather trim all around. We've got the stitching there on the center portion. Controls for the center stack, voice command, phone controls. Radio controls there on the back. Denali logo, of course. We've got a heated steering wheel button, and then this is for the cruise control. We've got our turn signal windshield wiper stock, and then we do have our column shift for that 10-speed automatic. It does have a manual shift function. There's the steering wheel. So here is the center gauge cluster. So first off, you got analog gauges on either side, and then they're in the center. We can scroll through a bunch of different bits of information, including the fuel economy, which obviously isn't gonna be accurate because it's a brand new truck. But the big thing is on the info tab, you guys can see different bits of stuff like, well, tire pressure and all that. Nothing too exciting. Now we do have some different drive modes. So first off, tow haul mode. And notice that changes that gauge right there on the corner. And then going from that, we also have a normal and an off-road mode that you can go between, but there's the gauge cluster. Here is the center infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it in traverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. We have our full 360 camera system, which is absolutely fantastic. Shows us every single angle on the truck, and still to this day, I think it's probably the best camera system in a heavy-duty truck. Now. As for the rest of the screen response time, fantastic. We've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay analog controls here down below, and there you go. Dual zone climate controls here, and then notice we have heated and cooled seats down below that, and of course we gotta have the cooled seat function on because it's kinda toasty outside today. We've got our diesel exhaust brake, lane departure, parking sensors, that's for the tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, that's for the outlets, and then the hill descent control, and then we have a bunch of charging ports, trailer brake controls, Wireless phone charging pad, and then notice the rest of the storage space. And then we've got some nice wood trim here. Look at the grain on that. Looks pretty. And then there's some more storage space down below, and that shows you the wood trim better. Anyways, look at the center console here. So it looks like they got rid of the whole phone holder situation, which is kind of interesting. But we still have tons of storage space here inside. Yeah, it almost looks like naked now that it doesn't have that like phone holder thing there in the center. It's kind of weird. Anyways, little glove box. And then notice with the stitching here and padding on the dash. And then of course we have a camera mirror. Nice feature. Sunroof. And then we've got the thing for the power setting rear window. And then control for the center on either side and that's all for the top. So there's a lot of glare, but anyways, 2023 Sierra 3500 Denali. And this has the Denali Ultimate Package, which is 2270 in terms of the price of the package. Uh, base price, 71,000. By the way, after all options, including that Denali Ultimate Package and a credit for the Denali Ultimate Package for $500, which is kind of interesting, $87,700 is the total MSRP for this bad boy. Wow, that was a lot of walking. <laughs> Let's take it out and drive it. Suck by visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, which do a blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in this Denali Ultimate. And I told you guys I'd talk about the off-road shocks and tires. Well, I went through the window sticker and thought that it was a package, but no, it's not. It's standard equipment now. So basically there's no point in buying an AT4 anymore because a Denali has the same standard equipment as an AT4 for an off-road perspective. I don't understand it. Um, anyways, <laughs> actually setting off. One thing that's great about GM trucks is they now have independent front suspension. Um, Ford and Ram still use solid front axles. And so this turns uh, quite a bit better and it feels quite a bit smoother from a ride quality perspective. Because again, having the suspension in the front perform independently means that when you go over bumps and everything it doesn't feel as harsh so i think it's a big plus this truck 
Uh, and that's one of the big things you notice about this. Even though it's a 3500 with huge beefy leaf springs, it rides pretty smooth. And this also has uh, the upgraded front suspension as well uh, as part of the towing package. So they've like beefed up the front as well. And we're gonna kind of go into this little bump part here. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, pretty solid for a heavy duty truck. Now other stuff, um, road noise, pretty minimal. Um, yeah, going over bumps, you, you do feel a little bit, but it's not bad. You hear quite a bit of noise from that Duramax, which I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. It's a, it's a pretty good sounding powertrain, if you ask me. And well, let's uh, get a little acceleration here. That punches, we're in the auto mode, by the way, from a driveline perspective. This thing definitely punches. Look at this, man, that is, I would not want to be doing what they're doing. Um, yeah, pretty solid from acceleration perspective. That's for sure. And that's one of the things is like, yeah, Ram and Ford are going for crazy torque figures. They're like at almost 1,100 pound feet at this point. You don't need that. 910 pound feet is more than enough. So to sum things up with this Denali Ultimate, um, yeah, it doesn't have the updates of the 1500 series GMCs, but this is still a pretty nice interior. The tech works fine. It's got a 360 camera system. It's got all the stuff that you want. Really, the changes to kind of just make the interior feel a little bit more modern, but I, I still think this is pretty dang solid. And from a driving perspective, the GM trucks compared to Ford and Ram, they definitely, you know, ride a little bit smoother because of that independent front suspension. So that is, a, again, a key difference with the trucks and other than that uh also i want to mention <laughs> a denali ultimate half ton is almost as expensive as this so just take that in for a second again with the gas engine gas 6.2 v8 versus this diesel so let me know actually that's a good question which one would you guys pick would you buy this or the half ton denali ultimate which denali ultimate are you going for and well that's gonna sum things up. See ya. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Denali Ultimate 3500. And yeah, that was completely out of order. Anyways, huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with the truck. I'll see you guys.